What's up, my name is Ty. I'm going to show you how to get um, NES games on your Moto Q. Let's see what it should look like. Alright, first, just go to the links on the info that I posted and uh, download these two files right here. It's uh, TGET files and uh, Pocket Nestor Plus. They should be in a zip, so just right click on them and extract both of them. And when you have them right here, first go into TGET files and um, see this thing with the little ball and everything. Uh, have your phone plugged in with the active sync. Just click on this and go through the steps. It's pretty simple. On your phone, just press yes and make sure you install it on your phone into the main memory and not the um, SIM card. Not, I mean, not the SIM card, not the, um, the storage card. Alright, then go to Pocket Master. Alright, then what I would do is go to the Active Sync Explorer. Go into your device and into your storage card. Make an extra folder, just name it NES or games or whatever you want. Just like that. And here are all the games that I have in there. And um, just drag Pocket Nester into it and just drop it. Um, and that's how you get the program on it. To download games, here's what you do. Alright, for games, I go to um, dolecomputer.com and go to click on ROMs. Go down to Super Nintendo, or not Super Nintendo, just Nintendo, because that's the only ones you can play right now. Click on any game you want. Say you want that one, save it. Go to your desktop, um, extract the file, and just drag and drop it, and make sure it's in the same thing as it's in, it's in the same folder where your Pocket Master is at. From there on, it's pretty simple. Just run Pocket Nester. Go to Files, and the first one on, you can see it says Open ROM. It gives you a little warning, but just ignore this. Um, then just go down to whatever game you want, say Mario or something. Done. And there you go. Mostly, you probably want to go to Options and uh, change the controls because it'll be way easier to play. The way I have mine set up is like that's left, up, Z is down, D is right, and then J, K are A and B, and T and Y are uh, start and select. That's the easiest way I could think of. First time you look at the game, it'll probably be something like this. It'll be all messy. What you do is go to options, go to graphics, and right here it says show all 240 scan lines make sure it's checked okay and go to resume and I'll show you much better <laughs> 